Welcome to part 16 of my full commentary on Westwood's 1997 game Blade Runner. And in this episode, we're going to be using our same game from before. We're going to start at Act 3, and I am going to show you the Lucy Replicant endings on this playthrough. And basically, I'm just going to be picking up... I'm going to be skipping ahead a lot, skipping a lot of the things that we already saw. And the other thing is that I said all right so many times in the last episode that I'm gonna be trying to make an effort not to be saying all right a bunch of times so first up the only thing that we need is hysteria hall was an arcade down near nightclub row the hysteria hall token we don't even need to bother collecting any of the other evidence you let him I could room? care less about Leon at this point that makes no effect but we are gonna uh, take a look at the car evidence here and the lichen dog wrapper. I wanted to comment on how I already showed you in the last playthrough how we made it through the entire game without ever visiting the police station. So I don't need to show that anymore. And the other thing I want to do is just turn designer cut mode off because there's no point in having that on anymore. I want to point out one of the differences there as well. And we're just going to go ahead and gather the Dectora evidence. During his last election campaign, about the car. The mainframe confirmed what I'd already guessed. The car from Chinatown was the same vehicle that had smacked the hydrant at Runciter's. The car was registered to a woman named Dectora. She'd bought it from a used car lot in the fourth sector. I ran the name through records and came up empty. The used car lot checked out clean too, but maybe the owner could tell me something. Okay, and then we'll get the photograph of Lucy since that seems to help with making Lucy appear. Hello there, Lucy. Give me a hard copy of that. All right. Well, also, whoops, I said all right again. Okay. We're also going to go talk to Guza and just confess about the bum because I want to show you that confessing about the bum has no effect on whether or not uh, the ending of Act 3 terminates early. So Guzo wasn't there, so I'm just going to pick up the evidence about the dragonfly jewelry and resolve the Any situation. Any luck finding more of that dragonfly jewelry? Okay, so I was saying that we'll pick up the evidence about the dragonfly jewelry. And I'm not going to bother picking up the evidence about the cheese with Gordo because we don't need it. So we will just go straight to Gordo now and resolve the Gordo situation. And I'll show you a different dialogue option here than we've seen previously. Just to give you uh, more flavor for the game. Originally I thought that what I'm uh, going to choose to talk to Gordo about had an effect on whether or not you could get the Lucy ending. But I tried some different options and none of them had an effect. But we're going to uh, put our game in user choice mode because that will help us to get the... Lucy endings, and we'll ask Gordo about Lucy. Hey, man. You're that cat from Howie Lee's. McCoy, right? This girl look familiar? I think I slept with her just last night. Gross. What? Just kidding, baby. Tell you the truth. So many women walk in and out of my life. I might have spent an evening with her, but how'd I remember? Yeah, I'm sure you're irresistible. The babes dig a man with a sense of humor. And a sense of taste. So, in answer to my question... I ain't never laid eyes on that chick. But, if I do, I'll make sure to keep her all for myself. So, we got a comedian here. Alright, now I guess we can just grab his lighter, since we gotta wait for him to do his comedy routine anyway. I'm probably just gonna cut ahead. Do what you gotta do, McCoy. If you gotta shoot, that's cool. Come on, McCoy. Get off. Alright, we'll are just you? skip all this dialogue. Who cares? We'll just let him go. There's no point in arresting him. Okay, I'm gonna go back to the police station real quick and see if Goose is there. And if not, the next time that I'm just gonna cut ahead to when I'm at Hysteria Hall to meet Lucy. Alright, so Goose is here, so I'm gonna confess to the killing of the bum. Lieutenant, I I shot a guy. Alright, and we don't need I mean, okay. We don't need to talk to you about anything more, but there's a weird thing right here. Let's see if it'll respond to us. Nope. What do you know? What do you care? <laughs> yeah, we got one of the weird responses. All right, I'm going to cut ahead to when I get to Hysteria Hall to interview uh, Crazy Legs and Lucy. And I am back. 
And we'll just ask Crazy Legs about uh, the car registration. You sell a black sedan a few days ago? Black sedan? Hey, I got standards. If it ain't sporty, I got no room for it. I've seen the registration. I know a woman bought it from you. Oh, oh, that sedan. Hey, look, a sexy blonde wants to pay top dollar for the ugliest car in the place. Who am I to say no? Did you know who she was? No, but I'd like to know her in the biblical sense if you catch what I'm saying. Oh, yeah, Look, I Ray catch what you're saying. Make a living. And we might as well ask her about Lucy, because maybe it'll help Lucy appear. How about this girl? She look familiar? You kidding? She ain't old enough to drive. You've never seen her? She looks kind of familiar. Think real hard. Maybe you should try that arcade next door. She looks like the kind of girl you see there all the time. I'll do that. All right, then we got Friendly Crazy Legs Larry. Crazy Legs Larry Hirsch. I we'll need to ask these two about the Lucy photo as well. You guys still battling at this out. girl around here? Maybe in the arcade? Oh, yes! I saw her come out of the arcade yesterday. No, it was the day before. Maybe you saw her both days. No, I'm positive. It was yesterday. You're positively wrong. It was two days ago, sure as God made little green apples. You're getting Alzheimer's, sweetie. Okay, okay, just forget it. <laughs> okay, might as well ask about the liking dog wrapper, too. I found this too. wrapper. Yeah, that's from one of our dogs. And one thing is, you'll notice that at the very beginning of that conversation, they gave McCoy a liking dog wrapper. He never gets charged for it, so I guess they must really like McCoy. All right, let's cross our fingers and hope that Lucy is there. And she's not. So I'm going to cut and walk around until she comes back. Okay, I am back, and all I did was fly to McCoy's apartment and fly back, and Lucy appeared. So originally, I don't even know what I thought triggered the Lucy uh, endings, but what I found is... You just need to exhaust all the dialogue options with Lucy, and that seems to be the thing that lets you get the Lucy ending. So that's what I'm going to do here. Well, everything except for threatening to give her a void comp test. You're sick, Lucy. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. Father told me to watch out for you. I'm not going to hurt you. Have you always lived on Terra? Yes. I always dreamed Terra would be so special and beautiful. Birds and flowers and trees and blue water. Like on the video. So different from everything on well, where I was. So we don't want to do Voight Kampf and we want to do Crystal last. So we'll just do Father and then Run Sitter. Can you take me to your father? I don't think he'd like that. I don't know where he is anyway. So my guess is that every time you talk to Lucy, it increases your, uh, I don't know, your rapport with her or whatever. And so that increases it enough that she cares enough to talk to you. Why'd they kill Runsitter's animals? I didn't want them to. But Father, he was so angry. And Sadiq said Mr. Runsitter deserved it for treating me that way. It's so funny. I'm worth less than those animals. I guess I should hate them, but I don't. So, all the animals were real? Mr. Runsitter also used to buy some of the... others. Artificial. He used to tell me that he was protected. That they came from somebody close to the source. Who else was there that night? Father and Uncle Zubin. And I want to talk about this game Lucy's playing. I can't really tell what it is, but it looks like it's like riding a speeder from Star Wars uh, Episode Six: Return of the Jedi. You know, the, through the forest of Endor? That's what it looks like to me. And the last thing we'll do is warn her about Crystal. There's another hunter after your family. We know. The woman who smokes. You've got to get out of here. You're a good man. Don't jump to any conclusions. You're gentle. You got that right. Father used to be like that, too. He would read to me and tell me stories. Pretty stories, so I would have pretty dreams. He doesn't do that anymore? He's out with Sadiq every night. And he and Mother, they argue about what we're going to do. He's worried about her. She hasn't been well lately. That must be tough on you. I've seen death before. But the other day, I was thinking, if a person could feel love 
real love, for even just one day, I think it would all be worth it. I agree. Out in a place with trees and a lake and flowers. I've seen places like that in books. You'll see them with your own eyes one day. You're not... you're not the hunter anymore? Go, quickly. Thank you. Alright, so Lu... Okay. So, Lucy runs away, and we will meet you at uh, Early Cues. Actually, there is one more thing I wanted to show you, and it happens if we go to talk to Larry Crazy Legs again. Hey, Ray, how you doing? Just fine, crazy. You've been thinking about the cat, haven't you? I don't blame you. She keeps me up at night, too. And I ain't ever even lip-wrestled in the back seat. Which is definitely what's in the cards for a stud of your caliber. Throw in a babe and maybe you got a deal. No sweat, I'll have one over in a jiffy. Not just kidding. All right, so there's just some funny dialogue uh, be between those two that I thought you might enjoy. So now we'll go to uh, early cues. So I don't remember if I showed you this before, but you can talk to Hanoi before you go in. Hey, Hanoi, where's early? Off World Fat Farm. <laughs> you can do better than that. No, it's true. Mr. Q sent me a vid just yesterday. Getting the hell of a tan he is. Early's waiting on me. Sod off. You've got no appointment, and you've got no warrant. Okay, I thought I'd just show you that dialogue. So the next thing that I'm Early, not sure it if it has any effect... Big, slick, hard as a brick. How's yours, General? ...on getting the Lucy ending... Your man gave me a hard time out there. ...is the conversation yeah, like Hanoi, with Early Q here. His sphincter's a little tight. What's on tap tonight? Uh, yeah, his classy shows. But I figure it's best just to ask him about Lucy, because maybe that increases your rapport with Lucy as well. Is this girl one of yours? This ain't no daycare center, General. Of course she ain't half bad looking. My pappy always used to say if there's grass on the field, it's time to play ball. So, Gross. she hasn't been around here? Nah, she ain't one of mine. Talk to Taffy, he gets most of the petty business around here. It's yeah. men like you that made this country great, Early. Early is just so You buy some disgusting. jewelry at an auction recently? Real old, elite stuff? Who's asking? You ain't with robbery homicide. No, sir. Eh, those pieces ain't hot. I got the papers to prove it. I picked them up at legitimate auction. Cost me nearly a pound of flesh, too. You give this stuff to a girlfriend early? You can... Which okay, we've heard all this before. He just mentions he is a detector. And we will dance with this dancer here. What's your name? Until early Q decides to go off. You remember last time I pointed out I always thought this lady here looked really classy, and also this one right over here. And it's just like, with how disgusting early Q is, why are such classy ladies hanging around in this nightclub? I mean, look at this up here. This is not a classy place. It's like disgusting. All right, I guess it's actually classy, but. No wonder it's mysterious. Okay, we can skip all this Hecuba crap. And we don't need to watch that again. You can also talk to Hanoi here. You got a minute, pal? Sod off, McCoy. I've got no time for you. But he just has nothing to say to you, as usual. So I'm just going to cut ahead to when we get to interviewing Dectora. So one thing we can do with Dectora that I didn't show you before is we can ask her about the car. You buy a vehicle lately? A black sedan? I wasn't aware that was a crime. Buying the car isn't. Using the car in an animal murder, well... Animal murder? That's horrible. I haven't seen the car for two days. It was stolen the day after I bought it. Is that right? Any reason you didn't tell me that right off? You didn't ask. Animal murder's pretty horrible. Yes. Any murder is horrible. And unfortunate. Some are worse than others. But death's the same for all. No argument there. And we'll just uh, give her the voice comp test. test. Like to so I'm going to retire Deck Tora here. A, a, then you I'm sure don't we don't need to listen to all this again. So I will retire Deck Tora, so we might as well give her the test. And part of the reason I'm retiring her is to just show you 
Lucy doesn't care that you retire her. Just like Dektor didn't care that we had retired Lucy. And the fastest way to do a Voight contest is just terminate, terminate it. it. And I'll meet you back Terminate's. after Crystal rescues us. What the hell took you so long? Good thing you made your entrance when you did. And we don't really need to listen to all this again. Nice crowd. Regular folks steal, just like you and me. Speak for yourself. You see it anywhere? Not yet. You sure she's in here? I'm gonna look backstage. Check the balcony and cover the exit. I don't want this one giving us the blow off. Yeah, and I just wanted to show you that dialogue difference there that's a little different when you're not in designer cut mode where McCoy's like, just regular folks. And uh, Crystal's like, speak for yourself. So I'm gonna go ahead and just retire Dectora here. She only takes one bullet, and then she'll just fall out the window. Jesus. <laughs> we'll just catch you at the beginning of the next act. Been pretty busy, haven't you, Slim? I think we can safely say that one's in biomechanical purgatory. Okay, so the first thing you'll notice is we confessed to killing the bum, but they never went and got the body, so he's still floating down the sewers. <laughs> And then we'll need to go over to Ezo's. Because something different is going to happen this time. We're going to meet Lucy. So I'm going to do a save game beforehand just so I can show you a few interesting things about the conversation that you have with Lucy over here. I told you to stay hidden. I can't stay there anymore. I don't want to be with Father. Not when he's so angry. Besides, I need something. We don't have time for an... That thing you do to see if a person is human? The Void Kampf? You want it. Is it always right? Usually. Give it to me. Father won't tell me anything anymore. Is that why he was angry? Because you asked him? You deserve it. You know how this works? I set up situations and you respond. Okay. Is it hard? Like a test in school? No. Sometimes it can be disturbing. Are you ready? Uh-huh. Okay, so this is the final Voight Comp test that we never got to see in my first playthrough, but we're going to get to see it now. Reaction time is a factor in this, so please pay attention. Where do you live? In Chinatown, at the Yukon. What do you do for a living? I worked for Mr. Runciter until I stopped. Before that, I was... it doesn't matter. What's your name? Lucy Devlin. Okay, so the machine looks pretty well calibrated. Let's start asking questions. Your best friend has done something to make you angry. What did she do? It's not important. Of course it is. We got kind of a replicant response there. A teacher calls you stupid in front of the rest of the class. That's mean. But got maybe another I deserve replicant it. response. Like my briefcase? Department issue. Baby, baby hide. 100% genuine human baby hide. Baby hide? That's... That's... When did you stop beating your spouse? I'm not married. And I never... Oh, I see. It's a game. Like you said. Right. For your anniversary, your spouse gives you a real goldfish. For my very own? Yes. He must really love me. So we're getting a lot of replicant responses. Your child comes home with a black eye. I can't have children. It's hypothetical. Just pretend. I can't. You've been kidnapped. Your captors tell you that you'd better think about what you did to deserve this. I'm sure I did something. Father says I'm always making mistakes. You return from work to find that your home has been burglarized. Why would anyone do that? I don't have anything anyway. You're having a very erotic dream. I don't have dreams like that. Right. I don't! We actually got a result this time. Positive result. Subject is replicant. Test terminated. You're a replicant. Tell me. You're a replicant. Then father was right. I shouldn't have taken the test. No. But you had to know. 
I gotta go. I wanna stay with you. Don't you understand? It's not safe. There's a hunter out here. If she finds out where you are... Can't you come back with me? Now's not a good time. It's never a good time. Listen. You have to be patient. You have to trust me. It's not safe here. And she runs off and there's this rat here. So we'll shoot it. <laughs> we'll shoot it dead. Okay. So I want to... Whoops. Um... Just show you the quick way of doing the test, and we might see a bug here. I saw a bug when I was experimenting I with this game before. Out. We can just skip all this. We, that, you, just you, just, you just, you know how this. Oh, no, uh. And I'm just gonna terminate the test early. Test terminated. The test says you're human. Really? Why didn't Father tell me? Maybe he wanted to keep his family together. I'm not a little girl anymore. It's not fair. No, but it's understandable. I'm gonna stay with you. Don't you understand? It's not safe. There's a hunter out here. If she finds out where you are... Can't you come back with me? Now's not a good time. It's never a good time. Listen, you have to be patient. You have to trust me. It's not safe here. Okay, so we had a very similar conversation there but it's slightly different. And that doesn't turn Lucy into a human or anything like that. She is still a replicant. It's just bug or I don't know what it is, but she's still a replicant. So we'll head over to McCoy's apartment. The trash had been collected. I'd screwed up, plain and simple. McCoy, 88F. 88. Thank you. Where's Maggie? Where's my animal? Step off, my foe. Ain't no Maggie here. Okay, so now we'll go visit Luther and Lance, and as always, we'll do this stupid rat puzzle. <laughs> the easiest way, shoot the rat, go in, and sometimes it screws up and you die anyway, but we got lucky didn't die. So uh, I'll just grab the Tyrell evidence right now. Now you'll notice I have not yet grabbed the... I didn't go look at Izo's basement yet and that's because I want to show you that if you do uh, this investigation out of order things are a little bit different. The dialogue's a little different so we might as well hear what he has to say. And the audio broke up so we're hearing the wrong audio right now. For some reason we're still hearing sewer audio. I will probably save the game and load it to fix that because it sounds very unusual. So let me save the game real quick. And that didn't correct the audio. So I will quit the game and start it up. Okay, I'm back and I loaded the game and the audio is now correct. So it is much nicer and we can enjoy my favorite scene in the whole game. I just love the audio in this scene too, like the sound of distant cars or spinners going by. It's very peaceful, very peaceful scene. And little tiny McCoy. I need to create the save game right here about the choice of getting the last uh, DNA or not. Okay, and then I will save here so I don't accidentally do that. And I'll just grab the DNA right now. Dump a copy of all the data in this. And so the way this is going to work is we're going to retire the twins, but we need them to appear before we can do that. Okay, so after a bunch of wandering around the Just twins appear. Just a moment appear, of your time, please. I am sick and tired of people waving those things around. Just give it up. You got no jurisdiction down here. Okay, so we'll shoot them, wait for their computer to explode, and now we can grab the evidence about Guza. Yeah, what a difference a day makes. Guza had his fingers in as many rancid pies as possible. He was insatiable. He sold police equipment, ripped off criminals, and he even killed. And here were documents that proved it all. Depositions, photographs, video discs. It was the complete file 
on Guza, the dirty cop. So you'll notice McCoy did not say that he needed to call Guza. So we need to go to Ezo's and collect the rest of the evidence. I just want to talk about this weird elevator. Why does it even exist? And the other thing that I wonder about this elevator is, why does this platform exist here? Like, who would ever be standing right here and for what purpose? So since we collected the Guza evidence in a slightly different way, the dialogue will be a little bit different here. Someone had really torn the place up. If it had been LPD, the real LPD, they would have confiscated the entire stash. Instead, Ezo's off-world weaponry was still there, but all the police issue firepower was gone. A little light started to flicker in my brain. Guza was the one measuring me for the frame. He set up a black market network, moving surplus LPD weapons through Ezo and the Green Pawn. Nothing wrong with a little graft, but when I started stirring the pot, the heat got too intense in the kitchen, and the sweat started coming. The info I had gotten from Luther and Lance finally made some sense. The reps must have found out about Guza's career sidelines, and pressured him to set me up in order to get me off their backs. This nasty business he was only too willing to do, but I wasn't going to eat crow that easily. Yeah. What a difference a day makes. It was time to have my own little fun with Guza. All I had to do was place a call and make the worm squirm. Okay, so that was just slightly different. Pretty interesting. Hmm. We'll grab the ammo. And the other thing I wanted to show you is we can go talk to Bob right now. Attention all units, be on the lookout for Ray McCoy, last seen in the fourth sector. Subject is armed and extremely dangerous. Repeat, armed and extremely dangerous. Scum sucking skin jobs everywhere. <laughs> and so Bob kills us. So I'm actually going to load a save game there and show you that if you do everything really fast, it'll be okay, basically. I'm going to have my gun out already. Attention all units, be on the lookout for Ray McCoy. Ah, oh, I didn't get it. <laughs> we can get Bob before he gets us. It might just take a couple tries. Make sure your gun's out. <laughs> See? I'd crossed the line. Bob was a psychopath, but I was almost sure he wasn't a replicant. I didn't have a lot of time, and my options were pretty lousy. Stay and face the music, or take off and hope I didn't get caught. So we just get the same... Uh, dialogue there if we do that but it is a funny thing that you can just sort of do so we will go uh, talk to Guza and meet him at the platform and I think that's when I will check back in so we will call Guza yeah. been messing with people's lives lately lieutenant we have everything we need and that doesn't include you too bad we were becoming such good friends. Ever is born of mortal birth must be consumed with the earth. To rise from generation free, then what have I to do with thee? Kiss my ass! Alright, so we're just gonna so, not. What shall we Shoot do Guza. He's been so persistent. And so let's get out of here right away. There's no point in sticking around there. So when we go into the apartment here, hopefully we get there to a dead dog. Not that I like dead dogs, but it means that we probably did everything correctly. Oh, God. And there we go. No. So that should be Lucy on the phone there. But we'll get to that in the next episode because I think this episode has gone on long enough but basically this is everything that you need to do to get the Lucy ending in Act 3 and just remember Lucy cannot be the third replicant I've I've never been able to do this with Lucy as the third replicant but if it is possible and anyone actually knows it's possible let me know in the comments or if there's anything else that you've observed that uh, I haven't commented on yet let me know and i wanted to thank you for watching and we'll talk at you later this has been jack everett